We are live here at Geo Stadium on your Wednesday evening for what is expected to be a highly anticipated clash between the Cronulla Sharks and the Canberra Raiders. Both teams coming off the relatively disappointing Season 7 results. Obviously, the Raiders bowing out in Week 1 of the finals to the Bristol Broncos, while the Cronulla Sharks had the debut season and unfortunately failed to make the finals. And both teams are looking to rectify that, starting here with a win. In the opening round of the SRL Season 8. Joining me in the commentary box for tonight's game. Luke Driscoll. Luke, what are you looking forward to about this game? Uh, thank you, Lachlan. Uh, obviously, uh, my daughter's debut today for the Raiders. So I'm really excited to see how she goes. Outside of that, it should be really interesting thinking uh, the Raiders have a pretty much a new bench. And Cronulla Sharks obviously looking to go one better and finish into the top eight this season. As we await for the kickoff, should be interesting. Lachlan, what do you expect from this game? Yeah, look, it should be an interesting game. Both teams really would like to get a start off. Both teams have fairly different lineups. Bit of a change in the forward pack for both teams. I feel like the spine is relatively the same for both teams. As Jaden Garsha makes a good break to start off this game, gets up towards the board of the Raiders. We'll be happy with that as now Tim James out of W half. Look at the space. He throws a pass there to Thompson. Probably was a little bit flat footed there, Luke Thompson for what Tim James was probably hoping for as they go out wide. It goes to Dane Belaine. He'll take the tackle there. Sorry, Dane Belaine, I should say, not Belaine. My apologies there as it goes. Luke Thompson there again. This time Jordan Lewis runs over the top of one of them. Gets to his front and will play it there on the 40. Good opening set there from the Raiders. It goes down to Luke Thompson there as all ricochet there. Taken there by Thomas Usher. Not the ideal starters. Uh-oh. Sharks, Thomas Usher now with the ball and... A good opening set there from the Raiders, but that charge down there, the Sharks get the ball back, and at this point again there. That was very lucky. Uh, once Usher had got the ball, he certainly got shown some space, and it was good cover defence from Canberra Raiders uh, to shut him down before he actually got to spread his legs. Yeah, couldn't agree more. The Sharks, early opportunity here, just three minutes into the game. MBT with a quick play of the ball. They go out wide. Cut up ball there from the light. Delaney gets it on there to Michael Crimp. He'll take the tackle there. A good covering tackle by Xavier Demand. They're returning to his old club after being having a similar time as last season. It goes to Lecky Tua. He pushes forward, making a change to the front row of his season. Lecky Tua. He'll play it there. Goes Sonny Tai. Punt into the end goal, but no, no one's under it. And Inland Barnes takes it. A 20 meter restart there for the Canberra Raiders. Yeah, offering Canberra Raiders a seven tackle set, not the ideal end to your set of six. And. Obviously, they'll get the chance now to put the Sharks on the back foot if they can complete this set. Yeah, the ideal they can complete here. Obviously, not the ideal kick there from Sonny Tyre. Probably had a bit of a wind on it. It's wet conditions down there at Geo Stadium. And as the ball will be slippery, probably just wasn't expecting the ball to glide like it did in the air. And unfortunately, it sees the Raiders go straight back on the attack as Jordan Lewis will play it there for captain. Goes Luke Thompson, gives it there to Eli Barnes. Here he goes, Eli Barnes. He takes on NBT. NBT manages to get to not before he makes plenty of ground, but as it goes, Light McQueen there goes for the card pass, but uh oh, it's intercepted there by Sabbath to Ua. And the young half there for the Raiders, not, not what you would have wanted to see from the young half of this club debut. No, certainly scuppered a good opportunity to. Uh, have an attack, uh, probably should have taken the tackle and allowed for an attacking kick, but obviously new halfback, new skills, so hopefully he can turn that around and uh, have a better game for the rest of it. Yeah, they've had quite a few plays for that halfback position next to Luke Thompson while Luke has been at the club. I think he's actually been at the club. Yeah, he's been at the club since season two, so he's a long-term player for the, Luke, for the Raiders. In fact, he might be one of the only lasting members from that original season two team when the Raiders made their debut alongside, I think, right. Hulk Val might be the only other one. There, we'll get some statistics to check that. Maybe as the Raiders come away with the ball, he just as daily it is, pushing forward there. It's going to be the second tackle. Goes Charlie Rossini. Again, switching to the front row this season. Has played a number of positions. Can we move the utility around the SRO? Play 5-8, lock, hooker. Now front row as Wally Allen charges there, but he's tackled up the... They don't make much meters. Now, obviously, Luke, Wally Allen, 
Come he had a very on, hot fuck, start to last in. season as he made Set of Origin team, but it's, I think it's fair to say that since he's made a Set of Origin move, he's gone very quiet. Yeah, he has. Uh, certainly didn't have the same output after State of Origin. Uh, as as uh, Matty Harris put it, the State of Origin hangover. Um, hoping this season, you know, they've had a good off-season, so he'll get his chance to uh, get the ball and make those uh, crunching metres that, that he was doing for the Raiders for the first part of last season. Has Michael Cripp now some space? Michael Cripp, he beats Eli Barnes and all oh, that was just too simple. Michael Cripp straight up the middle. Got on the outs inside of Eli Barnes. He couldn't recover. And Michael Crimp has another brilliant moment in a brilliant career. Gives the Sharks the lead early in this clash. And that was really simple. Uh, really, really shocking coverage defense there for the Sh uh, for the Raiders. Michael Crimp, uh, another outstanding player last season who, who got plenty of rep time as well. And rightfully so. Uh, he certainly shows that he can match it on the big stage. Yeah, Michael Cripp, he copped a bit of criticism. He got a bit of criticism in his way last year after he was a, probably a surprise selection to men in that Blues 17 last year. But obviously he had his moment, scored the game when he tried the opening game, and from there the Blues ended up going on to win the com competition. And I, I think he's probably his form has only increased since he made his debut last season, and I think you definitely see the experience he got in that Blues side is definitely, you know, better than his player. As, uh oh, this is that was a bit strange there. Sorry, I was gonna let you speak there, Driscoll, but off the kickoff, they're already up to the 50. As now they make it to me to see Luke Malkinson is up the middle. This kickoff's gone awfully wrong for the Raiders. Second tackle win is now. They're playing it there. Sonny Ty now gives it short there. It's gonna be Kaus Cow offload there to Bar Barisic. That'll be the third tackle now. The Cam Raiders cannot afford to concede here. Cut it ball, but it's intercepted there. and... Jenny Gush has it. A little bit of excitement there as they played the ball in the 50 for the first tackle of the kickoff. That was really enterprising play from a, from a kickoff, and, and it almost turned out. Uh, but I guess they pushed that passes too much as Eli Barnes goes through the line. Oh, Eli and he's Barnes. broken one tackle. Eli Barnes looking for some space there. He's playing it there, second tackle on the 30. Goes short there to Charlie Rossini trying to make some good beats. See the Raiders now in this the attack. You get the feeling this could be a high-scoring game, this one, as it goes Caval. Straight out the middle, nearly Drew Matthews. One of the best, better rookies last. He makes the covering tackle there at Rahul Caval. It goes Charlie Rossini. He finds his front. We'll play it quickly there, you'd hope, although he's a bit slow to find his feet. We'll see what's up there, but it's going to be Luke Thompson now. That's a good kick there. In an attacking position, tap back for Barnes, and he's looking for a try, but oh! Great defense there. Ra Raiders wrapped up. Sharks have the ball. That was a really good end to the set. Uh, unlucky for That's Barnes not to go player. over. Uh, really good defence there from the Sharks. Hopefully uh, they can muscle up here and keep them in their own end and start to win this arm wrestle. Two hands away. Yeah, look, so far the Sharks have one moment which is sort of sort of separating these two teams at the moment. But other than that, this game has been fairly even. Both teams having opportunities and defending relatively well despite the end-to-end -end stuff we're seeing. Sam Tua will play the ball there. He gets the short there. It's going to be Lucky Tua making another good run. He's had a good start to this game. Lucky Tua making plenty of meters there. He'll play it there. 55 meters off their own try line. It's going to be Anthony Delaney. Punts it into the backfield. Oh, Xavier Amanda. He makes a meal of it there. He's going to recover it though. But the defense gets in his face. And Xavier Amanda, a little bit cold. Feet. There is uh, Luke Thompson flat footed, and this is now bustling up here from the Sharks. And oh, that penalty would hurt. They tried to, you know, slow the play to ball down, get their defence line set, and they've held on for too long, uh, allowing a get out of jail free card there for the Raiders. Yeah, that felt like a really quick whistle there from the um, ref there. I wonder if they've already given, some, given a warning about He's holding no down way. the Sharks. That right. felt oddly quick one. there, but, anyways. Raiders there, I have the ball, he's good, good position there, it's Tim James. Palms off one, Drew Matthews is there to meet him. He tried the Jameson shuffle, was unsuccessful. Unfortunately he was, he goes out the back there to light the McQueen, oh but he's in there, has players in their face there. Sonny Tyre, I think that is, making a good cackle there on him. Goes Gaval, out the back there, it's going to be Thompson. Thompson again, another player wraps him up there. That's the fourth tackle. 
playing it there. Goes back to Cavall. And Cavall's tackled there. Fifth tackle now. 16 minutes played so far. The Sharks leading the Cobra Raiders 6 points to nil. What are you liking about both teams so far, Luke? Um, I'm liking the enterprising play that, the, as, as we get to see, Crimp go on a line oh, break here. Crimp. Sorry to cut you off there, Driscoll, but please continue. He's, we can't seem to catch our breath in this game. I oh, know. Every time I go to say something, uh, someone gets a line break. As we see Usher now go on a line break and offloads to tour. Uh, the enterprising play from the Sharks has been really good. They, they've been able to find space, particularly on that right-hand edge. Um, so far, the Raiders have been really good, although some of their sets coming out from their own end have, have had zero sting to them, and hopefully they can work that out. Put in a group more as the Sharks are on the attack here. Fourth tackle, 10 metres out, it goes out to Kasakau. Fifth tackle, it is now. He plays it there. 10 metres out from their own trial, it goes Tyre. Tyre rubbers it in, he's looking for NBT, and he finds nothing but NBT. A perfectly placed grubber kick. And the Sharks extend their lead here at DIO Stadium. That was just really good uh, play, knowing that where your fullback's going to be when Ty kicks it. But then again, NBT and Ty being very close friends, obviously they they would have known how to do that play over and over again. Uh, really easy try. There was no urgency to get that ball from the Raiders, and they they gave up points because of it. Yeah, obviously, Sonny Ty and NBT go back go back very far obviously playing a lot of school footy bush footy all the kinds of stuff together growing up i don't think they would have dreamed of anything better than being captain the vice captain at an sro club when they were younger so it's good to see them combining for an sro try there and i'm sure that won't be might not even be the most only one we see today i've got to say both so many tyrant mbt have had great starts to this game finding the moment they get an early try there but the raiders they're falling off the feathers at the moment Michael Krempers and Thomas Usher especially are finding lots of space on that right-hand side. I think, and I think the Raiders just need some of their bigger players to stand up now. You, you're looking at your likes of it, your Eli Barnes, your Luke Thompson, uh, Wally Allen as well, that really need to stand up and um, make make that difference. If they don't, then we'll, we'll keep seeing the, the Sharks being able to make those inroads through the edges. Yeah, I actually believe the side they're targeting is the side of Justice Daly and Lightning McQueen. Definitely the younger side that is being targeted here. As, again, Kausakau, another break tackle. He is just... In fact, no, it's not. My apologies. In fact, the, the side that's been getting shredded so far has been the um, side of Wally Allen and um, Luke Thompson. So the veteran side. But anyways, as they play the ball here, fourth tackle now. It's going to go back to Kausakau. He's still getting plenty of ball. He'll play there on the 30 meter line. Goes back there, it's going to be a oh, poor kick there by Sonny Tyler. Just as I gave him wraps, Tim James gets it, and not the ideal kick there from Sonny Tyler. No, and yet now they get the chance to take the ball up into the Sharks' end and hopefully get get away at least an attacking kick, or even better, score some points as Tim James does another Jameson shuffle, but this time. Uh, did the ref that, call That hold? was a little bit of interesting stuff there as Beats now. Preston Beats will push forward there, the big body there for the Canberra Raiders. Big front rower he is. It goes Luke Thompson to cut that ball there. It's going to be Dane Blaine. He's looking for space. Oh, yeah, he dummy to Xavier Demand on the outside. I would have bet your money he scores if he passes it, but he chose to hold on to it. It's going to be Luke Thompson now. This is great from the Raiders. They really would love a try here. Tap back to no one except for Luke Malkus. Luke Malkus is away. The defender has never seen this before. Space is in front of him. Luke Thompson's chasing. Thompson gets to him, but they're 20 meters out now. Quick play the ball from Thompson, um, from Luke Malkus. The defense is chasing. It's going to go Kalsik out. Looking for some space. He can't find it. He'll play it there. Just 15 meters out from the try line there. Second tackle. Goes so to tight. Inside ball there to Luke Malkus, but he's driven back there. They're not letting him get any more minutes after he just made 80. Third tackle now. Goes out the back there. In fact, the lane is going to dummy and run. He sets it up nicely there. Fourth tackle. The Raiders can't afford to concede him back. It's short ball there. Wimp wants to try. Women wants to try and he gets a try. It's always it's always a big risk batting the ball back from the back of a bomb, and we've just seen out seen why. Uh, relatively unfortunate for the Raiders. They uh, good cover defense there from Luke Thompson, but in the end they couldn't withheld withhold the pressure from the Sharks, and the Sharks go over. 
Yeah, Luke Marcus couldn't keep the steam up as he just ran. He ran like his life defender, but Luke Thompson managed to catch him. And it just took a while. It was actually a brilliant short ball to Bobby Worman. Apologies, I'm pronouncing that name wrong. On the Worman? fly, I stuttered it a couple of times, but uh, Bobby Worman goes over. He doesn't get too many of them, you know, for middle forward, but he gets one there and he'll enjoy that. It was a really good, um, not sure actually who did the short ball, but it was a really good short ball to him, and he just ran a nice line, and that's a good try there from the Cronulla Sharks. They worked to their sets, didn't try to figure out out outrageous, just worked to their plant, didn't panic, and... They should be happy with that try. That was a really good try for the Sharks. The Raiders, down 18 nil. It doesn't feel like they've been that bad, the Raiders, but here they are, 18 points down. Well, a lot of their tries come off the back of uh, getting onto the front foot, uh, going through long metres, and then scoring tries, all individual brilliance like we did with the grubber from Tyre to NBT. So the Raiders have not been playing bad by any means, but those little things that where you've got your big players standing up, they are making the difference. Yeah, I think the little things is the sort of point I want to, I think is a good point out here. Raiders, a couple times tonight, they've gone for the all or nothing play that has ended up, as I say, that the Sharks actually go throw an intercept there, but, you know, they've tapped back there, the all or nothing play, they've gone for it a couple of times, has a cut of trouble. Well, for the most part, the Sharks keep their footy nice and simple. You know, the Grumman kicks a try, already got a sick or a try. Thomas Usher and Michael Cripp just you know, running really good plays at down their side, and obviously, that's the crash over play from Super Short Ballers. The Raiders now go on the front foot. They'd love a try here. The Sharks so far, though, have defended well as Wally Allen now takes a run. He needs to get his hands more involved here. Fourth tackle now. Luke Thompson. Long cut up pull there. It's going to be Cheddar. What's a try? His SRO debut. Congratulations, son. It's going to go Luke Thompson there. Oh! That oh, he's ruled at knock good on. pressure on him. A knock on. And the Sharks survive. I, I didn't see the knock on. I thought that ricocheted off legs, but I'm guessing the ref had a better view than me from up here because that was unlucky for the Raiders. I thought that was a definite six pointer. Yeah, another knock on. But that was better by the Raiders. They didn't do stuff more, stuff like that. I think that grubber kicks might be the way to go. The tap backs, the Sharks seem to be on it tonight, prepared for it, while the grubber kicks. If that kick gets away, that's definitely a try. As the Sharks now yeah, once again go up the middle pool. Jason Farrah runs over top of one. He's been around the SRO for a while. That's a good run there from Jason Farrah. He'll play it there on the 30. Sonny Ty wants it in his hands. He kicks it again. He goes down to Riley Flynn. It's uh oh, Riley Flynn driven over the sideline. And the Sharks get another opportunity to score points. The Raiders. This is going from bad to worse very quickly just coming up trumps at the moment for the sharks isn't it they're doing all uh, and i think we've we covered it with the little things um you know yeah, getting all the basic things right for the sharks you know defending their errors well i think that's the big difference both teams have made probably about the same amount of errors sharks are defending there as well raiders haven't as thought they might have been a forward pass there but it's not going to be casca takes the first sit up there 22 metres out from the trial line. They would love to find a four point here. Raiders can't afford it. NBT. He's already got one tonight. Scored a double last time they burst. That's right. That's three tries in the lot in two games against the Raiders for NBT. As now Drew Matthews. Oh, Preston beats levels him out there. The young gun trying to take a run. It goes out wide here. It's going to be NBT. Demanda misses it, but a great tackle there by the wing. I think that's Dane Blaine. Dane Blaine down there. Sorry. Fourth tackle now. Drew Matthews, another hit off the ball there, picked up there. Uh oh, Eli Bart's away. You're not going to catch him. He's over to 50. 40. 30. I oh, shut the gate. That's a try. Eli Bard scores, and that's exactly what the Camp Raiders needed against the run of play. Eli Bard's the man you need to stand up, is the man to stand up. Yeah, the moment that he picked that ball up, you knew he was going to run the whole way. There was never a question about it. You know, he's made a, a long standing career off the basis of just getting that ball into space and being able to run the whole field. Uh, Raiders got lucky there, uh, similar to when Malkus got away, but obviously that ended up in points. Uh, big shout there for that uh, tackle on the line there for Dane Blaine, though. That was a try saver. Um, yeah, I've got I've got to say, I thought when I saw Xavier Demondo step over there in defence, I thought, oh, here we go, MBT's in for a second. The Raiders are done here. But... Dane Blaine, Dane Blaine, 
That has to go down as one of the best tri-saving tackles I've ever seen. He makes a great tackle there, puts him to the ground. He gets a quick play to ball, and then error sees Elabaz goes the distance. Elabaz to get all the credits and the headlines. Don't forget the tackle of Dane, Dane, by Dane Blaine. Yeah, very crucial to this game too. Uh, otherwise, it could start to look like a blowout. And I think there's another shout-out. Like, Tim James in this first half so far has played really well. I think he's gotten three line breaks so far. Um, certainly trying to lift this Canberra Raiders team. Yeah, I think the one player, in fact, that I, I, I think we need to see set up. I think we need Luke Thompson to get his hands on the ball. That's the big difference here. He's a veteran. He's been, he's a season one veteran. He's been around for a while. He needs to find something to Zotto and intercept this throw here. And now the Sharks are on the attack. Let's see if they can find something. Luke Malkus. Short ball there to Jamal Kausakow. He'll play at their second tackle. Seven minutes left to half time. The Raiders cannot afford to concede another one. Bobby Werman looked like he had a bit of space there. Would love to get a second try. Could you imagine that he plays in their third tackle? Malkus. Short ball there to Kausakow. Looking for a try, but he's always held up there. Another great tackle there by Preston Beats. Matthews there. Sonny Tyre. Short ball there. Another brilliant tackle there. Odd Bobby he's Werben. He looked like he wants a second, but he's driven back there. Fifth tackle now. Six minutes to half time. A try here would be good. Anthony Delaney, a very tough kick there. He's under. Is anyone? Oh, great catch by Riley Flynn, but he'll be driven back for another. For Raiders. Goal line drop out, and the Sharks are getting the ball back. That was some great goal line defense there from the Raiders. Preston Beats, he's tackling his heart out on this goal line defense. Uh, I think he's been really important. The last couple of sets of Sharks have had the ball in, inside the Raiders 20. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Preston Beats is a big body. You wouldn't expect him to sort of be that defensive player. But I think at least so far today, he has been. And that's something I really enjoyed to watch about him so far today is the Sharks pushing forward here. They would love a try before half time just to cancel out that Raiders long range try from Eli Barnes. Playing in there, Drew Matthews. Sonny Tiger gets a short there to Kasakow. He had a bit of space for a second. Luke Thompson comes back there with the help of once again Preston Beats. Fourth tackle. They play it there. Jason Farrah out the back there. It's gonna oh, it's gonna ricochet on Bobby Wood, but he's gonna say play on there. I thought that might have been a knock on there. Ref says no. Fifth tackle now. They're playing it there. It's gonna be a short pass there to Marcus. Oh, that was just too easy. It opened up. Matthews looked out the back and said he gave it short to Marcus. And he will score today. Repeat repeated sets on the goal line. Um, you know, they defended courageously, but unfortunately was that was a really easy try for him to go over and they've just uh, put themselves back eighteen in front. Uh Yeah, look and once again it's the veterans from the Raiders that sort of let that try it was Tim James and Rahul Caval that instead of watching where the ball was, they're watching where they thought the ball was going to go. And you cannot do that at this level. And with all the experience, you know, you would have expected them to do better there. You know, Drew Matthews, he looked out one way and went to another. But, and they weren't watching with the ball go. And they were watching where they thought the ball was going to go. Yeah, 100%. And unfortunately, it cancels out the try now. Not, now, just going back a little bit here. Obviously, Bard scored before. A little bit of a trivia for, obviously, our fans who are watching. And Lukey, too. If... Eli Barnes finds another try today. He will have scored 72 tries in 72 appearances, averaging one try a game. Wouldn't that be something? That would actually be an amazing feat, uh, averaging one a game. And, like, Eli Barnes, obviously, he's been player of the season previously. Um, it's always, people always talk about, uh, you know, Chaz Dingo and then Eli. Um, in terms of the big, big moments, Chaz stands up, but inconsistency Eli Barnes has been a solid player for, for a great many seasons it's actually also just a little bit of more fun fact and this won't change no matter what after this game at the moment Eli Barnes is currently the tied top player with the most appearances alongside Tim James as they are pretty sure we've always played every single game together he's also obviously the top try scorer in the competition so yeah, that's a little bit of trivia for us. As we go back to the game now, Wally Allen making a good run there. Gets up towards the 50 there. He'll play it there. Tim James gives it a look. Thompson goes out there back to Eli Bards. Could it be here? Eli Bards, he's looking for a break, but he gets taken down there. 
And he'll play it there. It goes now. Right there between Love a trouble for half-time. Back inside there. Jada Garsha. Oh, good tackle there. In fact, he finds the offload there to Tim James. He looks like he wants one. He's played great so far. But no, a good tackle there. Fourth tackle now. At the back there. It's going to be a long cut-up pass there to Blaine. He deserves a try. He's been absolutely terrific today. He saved the try earlier. And he scores a try here for the Raiders. And showed some amazing strength just to, to carry... Oh, I can't see who it is, but to carry him over the line and just flop down over the line to score there. And he, you're right, he absolutely does deserve it because he's played an amazing game so far. And it's lucky that this score has could have could have blown out earlier without his defensive efforts. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, in fact, it was Anthony Delaney who actually made contact but just couldn't get him down. And he's got to ask some questions of his defense. The teammates there, but he delayed. There wasn't really anyone helping. There was a couple of players standing around, but no one actually going down to dive under the ball, just you know, pull them up. And the Raiders have licked some poor tries today, but so have the Sharks. And I think, I think whoever can fix up some of the errors in the second half is going to go a long way to winning this game. I think we might get to the kickoff, but other than that, there won't, won't be time for much more in this um second half. Drew Matthews going to kick back off. Haven't? Ref just call it here. I think the ref should just call it here. But anyways, Drew Matthews will kick it back off here. Will be the final play of the first half. And he'll kick deep down to Justice Daly. He'll take the final tackle as we head to half time. The Cronulla Sharks leading the, the Raiders at Joe Stadium, twenty-four points to twelve. <laughs> Hello, we are back in the second half. Martin McQueen for the camera raise getting the ball on the tee here at J.O. Stadium. Cronulla Sharks leading 24 points to 12 over the Canberra Raiders. Obviously, Driscoll, both teams had the opportunities in the first half, but the Sharks lead by 12 points. What were you thoughts in that opening 40 minutes? Oh, really tough game. Canberra missing out on the smaller things. Their goal line defense at some times would be, become very stretched and obviously allow for those channels to open up for the for the Sharks to score. Um, not saying anything. The Sharks have played really well. Um, Raiders really relying on their big names to really stand up in that back end of that first half as we get to see Anderson here go on a break. Let's tackle four, hands off. Yeah, good run there by Anderson. Looking very dangerous there as they go out wide here. Kaskow it is. He had a great first off, I've got to say, Kaskow. I think Kaskow will back because they're two veteran forwards, or real veteran forwards, in that ball back. Reese up for Cronulla Sharks. We're probably the two best players on the park. They kick down to Riley Flynn. Oh, but that's a good tackle there on him, getting up in his face. And not allowing him to make many meters, any meters at all, in fact. Oh, but there we go. Yellow bars for his um, average line break there, right there, as he gets a quick play the ball. In fact, now, go short side here. Out to back. Watley McQueen, good color ball, but oh, gosh, he had space in front of him. It was a beautiful pass from Watley McQueen. Lost his marbles for a second and just stopped cold. Yeah, that was a. Uh, was he worried about the sideline there, Garcia, or did he just freeze at that moment? I'm not entirely sure, as an offload gets free there to Charlie Rossini. They'll play it there. It's Mike McQueen there. I'm liking his running game. He's definitely started this. At least that set, he was very controlling and very good there. Goes there. It's going to be Luke Thompson. Puts it high. Great take there by Riley Flynn. But oh, Sharks aren't worried at all as they make the tackle on him. And Sharks have the ball. NVT it is with all good means. He's taking on Barnes here. Watch out, he's going to get over to 30. In fact, he gets to nearly the 20. Oh, that's a great run there by MBT. He's now the Sharks straight back into attacking footy here. Goes up to Ua. Gives it there to Jack Anderson. He'll play it there. Just past the 20 meter line. Goes there for the lady. Short ball there to charging onto it. But the Raiders get up in his face after he dominated them in the first opening half. As it goes, Kask out. He plays there. Quick play to the fourth tackle. Spaces out wide. It goes out there. Oh, another great tackle. Is that on Hone King's first touch of the game? In fact, then, oh. Wackabash. Wackabash. 
Gets taken out on the last, and um, the Raiders have the ball back. Run, As just for your daughter takes her way. first touch of the game in her debut. Yeah, and it was a line break in a good 20 metres that she's made there, so um, looking really good to start out. We'll see how we go from here. From the group Warriors, they make a good break there to Raiders, He's take no a straight back on the attack. Three. Yeah, well, there's going to be a lot to be clean. Runs it again. His running game has really picked up for in the second half. I wonder if one of the, you know, maybe do a little stuff that said, open up your running game here is now. Rossini charges onto the tough ball there. Taken there by Luke Bauchis. And he'll play it there. Who's calling for it? It's going to be Luke Thompson. He needs to stand up in this opening. In the second half, it's tapped, taken there by Wakabayashi. And he'll play it there, and a good take there by the young rookie. Two, hell, move. As the Ma Sharks will... Marcus has been having a solid game. Like, he just seems to always keep appearing and keep taking those hit-ups. Full credit to him. Yeah, he almost just always wants the ball, doesn't he? He just wants to be there. He just wants to be around the footy. He wants the ball in his hands. He's the only front rower, but he just wants to make a difference. And that's something I really like about him, is now to Ua. Makes good meters there. Pushes up. Carries in a bar. It's got a little bit of a trip too. Carries in about five meters there. But it'll push up towards the 40. Play it there. It's going to be the lady. He punts it back into the backfield. Down there to Riley Flynn. And he break, makes breaks the tackle there. Taken there by MBT there. But Driscoll, I'm going to be honest here. The Sharks drop back 12. I can't take off the feeling of a, of a Camber Raiders comeback here. No, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Like, we're seeing this arm wrestle happening in this second half so far. Like, it's been very even. I don't think there's been any mistakes thus far, has there? No, there hasn't. So, the Raiders are definitely not out of this game by a long shot. As we see Demando there, side oh, Demando he's breaks through. the tackle. He takes one of them down the sideline, but they get to him. Fourth tackle. Sorry to cut you off there, Driscoll. Demando with a great run. That could be the aim changing key. Short ball there. It's going to be Wally Allen. He He's takes the tackle there. there. Who the wants it in his hands? Dr Thompson is calling for it in the back play. It's going to go to Thompson. Another great kick there from the veteran half. Tapped back there for Barnes. And Eli Barnes, 72nd career try in his 72nd game. What a play -off. That's absolutely amazing play there for the Raiders. And as we are saying, the Raiders are definitely not out of this match. As we get to see Eli Barnes obviously doing what he does be best and crossing the try line. And I think this game is on. What I've really liked about the Camp Raiders this second half is the players that were quiet, like Nibu Queen, Luke Thompson especially, they've really opened up in the second half. Thompson has done some really good kicking, setting up that try too, and like Nibu Queen has just been running really nicely, connecting with his edge really well. I know it's only 11 minutes in the second half, but all of a sudden they're already up down by six. The Cronulla Sharks got to be careful. They've got to be careful because the Raiders have a lot of experience. They know how to just close these games out. Yeah, they, they haven't been at the top um, of the SRL for, for so many seasons without knowing what to do properly when they need to do it. And we're seeing this resurgence now, although the Sharks still in front by six. And it should be an interesting uh, rest of the game. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Cronulla Sharks, they're just... We know what they can do. We know what both teams can do on their day. And the Sharks, they looked really good to begin the game, but just slowly the Shirley Raiders are working their way back into this game as Berkeley it is when we hit up there. That's the third tackle. They go out wide. It's going to be Wally Allen. He's starting to take some more runs here. Well, it was actually the third five run meters of the all right Cam Raiders in that first half, but it was only 56 meters there for Wally Allen, so it's definitely getting some more to begin the second half as... Berkeley will play it there. It's going to be Thompson. Thompson kicks it into the backfield there. It's Thomas, sorry, Hone King it is. But a good tackle there. And he's getting more involved now. Interestingly, after what Michael Cripp did to them in that opening 20 minutes, they're only going towards Hone King now. Do you find a, a good strategy from the Canberra Raiders? Yeah, they've obviously swap, swapped sides because uh, Michael Crimp obviously was terrorizing, ter terrorizing them down that line. So, obviously, Hone King being very, very quiet. So, obviously, they're like, well, let's test him out. And that's what we're seeing here. And so far, it's working a treat. 
Yeah, it's, it's again another example of just experience from the Rangers. You know, a lot of teams can switch up the game plan on the fly. They definitely see that the game plan to target Michael Crip for whatever reason, but has it paid off? Let's switch things up. Let's give us a chance to win this game. And so far, they're back in with a chance. They're still behind. But I just can't take with the feeling that the Raiders are gonna go are gonna go down without a fight. And the Crow Sharks should be Crow Sharks fans should be shaking your boots right now because the Raiders they're coming to get you, I get the feeling. Sharks are still up by six as the Raiders have the ball here. Charlie Rossini gets driven back there. A good tackle there. Fourth tackle. Potentially a 40 20 tap we could see on the cards here. It's gonna be Thompson. Thompson, what a kick there. MPT on his bike, but we'll get it. But he's taken there. In fact, he's going towards the sideline. Watch out, NPT. Oh, he stays in. That could have been a game changer tackle there. He went out, but he stays in. It's now Mark Crimp. Makes good meters. That's why I don't want the ball to go towards him because he breaks tackles like that. He plays it there. It's going to be Thomas Usher now. Good run there. Three, back with me. He plays it there. It's going to be short ball there. The Sabbath to Ua. To Ua. He has support on the inside. Gives it there to Drew Matthews. Who's in fact on the outside? Drew Matthews plays it there. Goes to Luke Malkis. Takes the hit up there. That's the fifth tackle. He'll play it there. Goes Luke Mark. I'm sorry, Lucky Two, I should say. Bobs it away. Take a nice deal out of Riley Flynn, but a good tackle in the end to keep him inside the 10 meter line. Riley Flynn has been really good in the air. Uh, obviously, earlier in that first half, uh, got pushed back into the line, but certainly. Um, safe under that high ball and so far doing really well. Yeah, they're targeting him in the air, probably trying to get I think, that's, I think it's a hotter kick to try to get out lead through him, but so far, I mean, right, I don't think he's been outleaped once today. And he's definitely shown why he's just really safe under the high ball there for the Raiders. It's fourth tackle now. Goes short there. It's got a whole lot between runs in it, but not. You don't want to be running at Luke Bowkis and he play it, plays it there. It's going to be Luke Thompson. Pumps it into the backfield, taken there by Michael Crimp. He's looking for space, he gets past blood. Oh, Michael Crimp, this is why they stopped kicking towards you. He makes good leaders there, but eventually wrapped up there, but not before making plenty of ground. Inside ball, better MPT. Just as the Raiders look to get in control. The Cronulla Sharks are suddenly back on the attack here. Goes out with um, Anthony Delaney at the Sony tire. Still no errors in this second half, we've been playing for 20 minutes. He'll play it there. Just short the 30. Drew Matthews, Luke Bowkis, gives it there to Kalsakow. He pushes forward there. Good hard running line there from Kalsakow. Fourth tackle now. NBT wants it. Watch out. NBT wants it. NBT wants it. Finds the off with the leggy two up but oh, he's going to be just short there. Fourth, fifth tackle now. It's going to be Anthony Delaney. Puts it high. Good kick there. Who's under it? Tap back for NBT. He wants one. And he'll get one to extend the Cronulla. As well, Drew Matthews misses that one. With how the Raiders are playing, wouldn't be surprised if that comes back to bite them later on, that misconversion. And it could be the difference, but we'll have to wait and see. 19 minutes to play. Uh, plenty of time to get two tries on the board, and those two points may be very crucial to the Sharks in this game. Yeah, I couldn't agree more as Lightning McQueen kicks off there. Deep, deep to NBT. Gives it off there to Josh King. In the middle of the field now. Can play in the center all the middle of the field. So he's playing in the middle right now. Up to see what impact he provides for Granada Sharks. The center to Ua. He's had a great game so far. In fact, two. Or two. Gonna go Sonny Tire. Short ball there. It's gonna be. Wakabayashi. Wakabayashi. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Driscoll. It's gonna go. Sunny tight inside ball there. Lucky like Tua trying to get onto his front. He does. He'll play it there. Fourth tackle. On the 50 meter line. Delaney. Out the back there to NBT, but always tackled. That's going to be fifth tackle. 17 minutes to go. They'll play it there. Just short the 40. It's going to be Anthony Delaney. Punts it back. He's targeting straight down to Xavier Demando. And he's looking for space there. He gets past one. Taken there by the kicker, Anthony Delaney. Raiders are down by 10. Is now, oh, out of the behalf of Delaney. He's been very good today. He's been a bit quiet in the second half, but still a very solid performance from the center. I go short side here. Bit of an interesting play. Oh, it's going to be an error there. Thomas Usher dives on it. 
and could all sucks have the ball back. On zero tackle, no less. So they're going to have a set of six. But as we see, Drew Matthews there cutting through, but getting dragged down by Eli Barnes. Another great run there from Drew Matthews. I think he's had a great game today too. As it goes short ball there, Josh King. He'll play it there. If they score here, it's probably just about dead the game. Sonny Ty pushing forward. Sonny Ty, but he's going to go onto his back. The half is not pushing over here. He'll play it there. Matthews, short ball there. It's going to be Barisic. Barisic wants one, and he's going to get one. Another try assist there from Drew Matthews, and that's about wraps up this game, you'd have to think. Yep, some really good uh, strength there from Barisic to go over the line there, and he's dragged two people over with him. Um, I would think that would call this game to an end. I don't, I don't know if the Raiders can make up a three-try difference in in uh, f sixteen minutes or fifteen minutes or yeah, so. Fifteen minutes, they can. I'm not going to say they can't. It would be nice like Eli Barnes, Tim James, Xavier Demando, Rahul Kaval. But what I will add is that. Eli Barnes could probably put on his own. But I don't know. I just... They've just lost their momentum. They're a very momentum-based team, and when they lose it, I don't know if they're going to get it back. A lot of talk in the pre has been that the Raiders don't have the... Sort of don't have... Basically, they'll start strong and then finish poorly. And I think, like, they're just not going to have it in them to come back three tries. But we got Barnes on the team. Hey, you can probably do anything. You'll probably score 50 points with... You know... With... Any, any team, if you had Eli Barnes on your team, but I think at the moment, just three tries is probably going to be a little bit too much of an ask. Right, here's tackle one. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, but also, the, the Sharks, they've played really, really well. Um, yeah, they have. That, 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 that's a good Let point, too, they have. We should not, we should, I talked too much about the Rehab Raiders there, but the Sharks, they've played really well, yeah. As NBT fights off the dead of Malchus. That's the third tackle. Drew Matthews. I think Drew Matthews, so, so, so far, I think, you know, NBT is going to the headlines. Four, Luke Malchus is going to get the headlines. Two. I think Drew Matthews has been extremely well. Not extremely well. Fifth and last. Yeah, he really has. And he's certainly stood up and certainly showed that he can uh, uh, do really well in this Sharks outfit. As David Marlin now pushes forward. It's, oh, he's going to go over the sideline there. Took it all off in play. I guess why not from Xavier Demando's standpoint, you know. He has to find something. But MBT shepherds him perfectly. Good length, length covering tackle there. And the Raiders better watch out. The Sharks could be about to put a score on them. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Um, I mean, it was worth a go. If you if you want if you've got to make up this many points, worth yeah, shaking your hands saying. at this point. Yep. Save it a while, though. Yeah, I mean, it was worth a go. I don't think it was ever really an opportunity for him to get around the MBT, but it was worth a go. Maybe you can find something. Maybe you can find Eli Barnes lacking, but I don't think he was ever going to find Eli Barnes, you know, sleeping there. But the Sharks push forward here, third tackle, twelve minutes to go. They'd love an extra try here. It goes out the back there. It's going to be Thomas Usher. Oh, he had the one on one there, but a good tackle made there on him. Fourth tackle down. It's going to be Malchus there. And oh, a big shot put on the front. Row out, slash lock forward there. It's going to be fifth tackle down. It's going to go. Sonny time. Rubbers it in. Oh, it's going to be Josh King. Can he get up? Just get up, son. You'll just so you can reach up and plant it over. But no. He somehow ends up five minutes away. And the Raiders survive. He probably could have reached out while on the ground to score that try. That was very unfortunate. Uh, great recovery of the ball, but... Yeah, just not quick enough to get over the line and score. That's your second. He was... I think, I think my grandmother could have reached over and played that one on the ground. It was so close. But unfortunately, he comes up short there, Josh King. Raiders proving a big sign of relief. And I guess, I want to be honest, another try would put them completely out of the game. They could still score 16, 18, three tries in um, 10 minutes if they wanted to, but they've attacked their Caval is who... He's probably the one big player I've got to say from this Raiders side. has been really, and I mean really quiet today, Cabal. He had a, he had made seven, he's been good in defense, but I don't think he's provided much of the tank. Yeah, as we've seen at the end of the first half there for Cabal, uh, 17 tackles. And, yeah, maybe it was just a situation where the 
Sharks have isolated him in the fence, made him make multiple tackles. He just doesn't have the energy to provide anything in attack. As now, Josh King it is making up for what should have been a try early. If you're Josh King, you're probably spewing there, but third tackle that is going to be. Goes there for the Delaney. Dummies and runs there. That's the fourth tackle now. Plays it there. It's going to be Malchus. Malchus it is now. Hasn't he had a great game overall? Fifth tackle now. Wouldn't they love just the fail and the company? It's going to be Josh King. Robinson, and he couldn't score one earlier. Maybe he's setting one up for Anthony Delaney and he will. Delaney wanted him to score one earlier. He failed to do so. So Josh King repays the favour just a couple minutes later. Yeah, what an amazing try there. Uh, it didn't look like a lot was happening, but certainly that kick and then the pick up and then the drive over the line. Um, certainly put this game to bed and, bed and the Sharks are going to go away as round one winners of this match. Yeah, look, just King, I don't think it was meant to get the ball in the last, but he ended up with it and just thought, screw it. You know, eight minutes to go, let's give it a kick. And he just did that and it just, yeah, the lady caught it. Pushed over. I thought he was going to get turned on his back, to be honest. But he just pushed forward. Found the try. 40 to 18. Sharks should be very happy. This has been a very complete performance for them. Yeah. Oh, look. Putting 40 points on the Raiders is never um, is an effort within itself. And they've just. I, I think we went through it in the first half. All those little things they're getting right. Um, and they, they leave spaces in the defensive line of the Raiders. And allows them to score points. Yeah, I think the real story today has been Malchus because, you know, most season, I want to study more of a hard running player. You know, he'll make a couple breaks from his pure running, but he doesn't really have a pass or a sort of an extra sort of depth when he comes into the line. He's more just an up and down, but he's running as hard as humanly possible. Today, though, how good his ball playing skills be? Oh look, just show, showing him, showing himself to be the complete footballer. Um, certainly done everything correct. Like you can't fault Luke Malkus in this match. Um, as we get to see here, Eli Barnes come back. He wanted to go from 4 to 20 there, Delaney. That would have just been an absolute amazing effort there, but he unfortunately pulls it up short. Thompson is there, long pass over. It's going to be offload there, Tim James. He's tried his hardest at there today, Tim James, but unfortunately just hasn't been able to ignite his team in the second half. Like would like. He goes out to Ryan Flynn. Flynn with space now. That's the third tackle there. Five minutes remaining in this game. Fight with the Quink is it short there. It's going to be Driscoll now. Lucy Driscoll on her debut, but oh. She just wants to spark something. Fire, it fires an offload, but Sam Tua gets there, and that would be disappointed there as Sharks come away with it. Two. Yeah, unfortunate there for, for Lucy not to get that offload off. But as we get to see here, Matthew's going on a break and offload it oh, to yeah, Malchus. Malchus. He's there. Just Malchus and Ma Drew Matthews, I personally think have just controlled this build to an absolute T today. And I think that's been the real difference here. You know, if I have other players that'll be good, I think the lady, probably the best game I've seen him play in a while. But I think Drew Matthews and Luke Malchus have just they've owned this middle today. As a kick down there for Xavier Demando. Oh, he beats every team at all. Covery tackles. Is that Anthony Delaney again? And I think another important player for this is uh, still Blaine for, like, he's done a lot of uh, work in defence and obviously in attack to score tries. We get to see Eli Barnes, he get a break. Yeah, it wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if an Operator's player's going to score... I think you bet your house on it's going to be Eli Barnes. To go out the back there to Luke Thompson. Who played there. Fourth tackle on the 20 meter line. Out the back there. Demando looking for a try on his Raiders. Return. Oh, he's going to get one. He's tipping toes down the sideline. Beats a couple defenders. And that's one of the greatest tries you've ever seen. Speeds nothing. But that's a sensation effort there from Xavier Demando. Look at this. Tipping toes down. You would have thought he's going for all money. Beats four of them to score that one. That was an amazing try, really. Um, to, to, to have the presence of mind to cut back in after just tippy toeing along that, that sideline and not actually touching a blade of grass on that white line. Absolutely amazing. And he's actually having a look at the back play. He's so tired. He's not happy with that defence there. He's actually given a mouthful to a couple of his wingers and setters out there for missing that tackle. 
which is a sign of a good culture there, you know. The tribe means nothing really to them, but it's all about sort of about pride that one, you know, you don't want to let tribes like that in. And it could theoretically could impact their for and against letting a try in the seventy eighth minute lay them down the line. They miss out by four, six, two points or whatever, making you know, top four, top eight, whatever. That could be the difference at the end. And you certainly did say that, that it was gonna be a high scoring game. Um and you're right. Uh, in terms of for and against, it's a big difference. Yeah, 40 points to 24 to score. I don't think they're going to score another one, the Raiders or the Sharks, but what is that, 64-point game? Yeah, that's a high one right there, and both teams definitely showing their attack and plan to begin this game, but their defense definitely could do some work. As Jordan Hill pushes forward there, that's the third tackle. It's been fun to play out the game. It's going to be one to get there. Eli Barnes and either that's going to be it. That'll have been a full time siren, man. The Raiders come away with a, their first loss of the season while the Sharks win their first game. 16 point victory, 40 points to 24. Look just for your thoughts on that game. Oh, really good game. Really good to see how each team is going to shape up. Uh, both teams have got points in them, and I don't, I'm not overly convinced defensively for either team um, in that respect. So it's going to be really interesting for the rest of the season. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. The Sharks scoring 40 in that opening game. They'll be really happy with that. Drew Matthews, he was incredible. NBT was as well. Luke Baucus. Drew Matthews, I think they absolutely tore that middle apart. As we take a look at the stats here. For the Rays, you know, I, I mean, there's no surprise, you know, Buzz and Xavier DeMar to top their try scoring charts. Probably the two best players for that Raiders side. Would you think that's fair to say? Uh, yep. I also think that Charlie Rossini had a good game. As we have a look at, you know, some of the tackling stats there. 25 tackles, zero miss from Caval. That's a solid effort there in defense. Just couldn't get himself going in attack. And Tim James also making 25 tackles. So we take a look at the Sharks stats now. Drew Matthews, I mean, 22 tackles, a solid effort. Three tries. He just absolutely dictated terms. That middle made sure that whichever way they were going was his way. And he played a very solid game. And Luke Marcus, 233 meters, my God. That might just be about his best performance we've ever seen. NBT was also good as always. Cascal was extremely good. Michael Cribb did his thing as Raiders showed that uh, the Sharks as they show their skill completely, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and well deserved. As I think that's all we have time for here on our Wednesday evening. Thank you all so much for watching us. It's been a great Game here at Jero State. The Sharks, this point in the home fans so 40 points to 24. I've been your host, Lachlan Martin. Thank you, Luke, for joining us and all our viewers on SRL TV. We'll see you guys next time.